Okay, here we go again. Post-trib moment number 20. Chronological order of revelation. Again, he shows his ignorance of scripture. The second place in Revelation that describes the rapture is Revelation 14. Now you say, wait a minute, Pastor Anderson, why would the, revel why would the Revelation describe the rapture back in chapter 7 and then all the way in chapter 14 again? Well, that's easy because as you're reading the book of Revelation, it goes in chronological order. Chapters 1 through 11 are in perfectly chronological order. Yeah, uh, uh, oh, hold on a second there. Uh, no, they're not. Uh, again, he shows his very high ignorance of the book of Revelation. There are eight divisions in the book of Revelation. First of all, chapter 1, you have the introduction. Chapters 2 and 3, that's the second division there, you have the church age. The different churches, the seven churches that are described in chapters 2 through 3. Okay, the third division in the book of Revelation is chapters 4 through 7. Okay. The fourth division in the book of Revelation is chapters 8 through 11. And again, you're having there, it's retelling a lot of the same events that are going on. The fifth division, the third account of the tribulation, is chapters 12 through 14. The sixth division is chapters 15 through 19. The seventh division, chapters 20 through 21. And the final division is chapter 22. There's not two divisions in the book of Revelation. Again, he lies again. I mean, it's just, I, I'm starting to wonder about this guy, you know. I mean, the Holy Spirit guides into all truth. He's obviously doing all these studies without the guidance of the Holy Spirit. And the Bible says that Satan is the father of lies. He is a liar from the beginning. I'm wondering who this guy's really following. I mean, to be this far out and messed up, I just have to wonder after a while.